On my recent trip to Las Vegas, I learned something, something that's missing in most organizations. That's this week on Think Tank Tuesday. Hi, this is Paul Potratz, and welcome to this week's Think Tank Tuesday. So recently I was in Las Vegas. I know, one of my never not in Las Vegas. But anyway, and no, not that I gamble. I don't have the Jerry Tebow, hey, I'm winning all kinds of money type, I guess, gift. But anyway, so I decided to go watch a show. And I went to go to see the Cirque du Soleil. Boy, did I say that right? But anyway, you get my point. So I went to the show, and I tell you what, what an unreal show at the Bellagio. You go in there, and I mean, these people, and they're tumbling, and they're in the air. They're probably 60 foot up, and they're diving into this pool right there, as far as right there on the stage. I mean, if you have not seen, as far as the O, Cirque du Soleil, you definitely need to go see this show. But I'm sitting there, and I'm watching this show, and I'm like, wow, this is really like, really, this is like death defying. People could die here. And, but there was one thing that was just absolutely amazing. And what it was, as far as there was the one girl, and she was up on the little trapeze, not little, but way up there, and she's tumbling, 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 just moving really fast. And then all of a sudden, she just comes off. And as she was tumbling, though, there's all of these people that are in this show, and they're standing there, and they're watching her, and they're smiling, and they're looking so happy, but they're watching every tumble, every move that she's making. And it just kind of clicked with me. It just kind of dawned on me. Are they really having that much fun? I, I truly think they are. But what are they really doing? Well, what they're doing is they're watching the person that's leading. And they're there. They're ready for action. They're ready to make the next move. Because they've practiced and practiced and practiced so much. They know exactly when she's going to let go, where she's going to tumble, and where they actually need to catch her. Keep in mind now, during this show, there's no safety ropes and no nets or anything else. Because if there was, as far as the individual that was not in the right spot at the right time, somebody would die. And I really mean that. Somebody would actually die. And I hate to say that it was recent that somebody actually did pass in one of their shows. And you kind of wonder why. Well the person wasn't in the right place at the right time. The person wasn't actually in tune. They weren't watching. They weren't into it. They were thinking about what was actually maybe what went on, you know, the morning of with their family, with their bills or something like that. They weren't really paying attention. That's what happens. And that's what happens in a lot of businesses. So you kind of think about in your own business, what are you doing to make sure that your managers are in tune, your salespeople are in tune, your internet department is actually in tune, that everybody knows? So when you're building a company, what you actually have to do, and it's a struggle, is to understand exactly what is the protocol, what should happen. You need to be training your people. Your internet team needs to know exactly as far as what is their response time supposed to be? What will they be measured on? What is the result? So if you're an internet manager, your goal should be five minutes or less to answer that internet lead. You should know exactly how long should you continue that process on. When should that internet lead pass to a manager for a follow-up phone call? And I mean, and this is just not for your internet department. This is for every part of your, your business, every part of your business. As a business owner, you need to know exactly what are you responsible for and what are you going to be measured by. Your sales managers, everybody. So as I was watching the show and I was watching all the tumbling, it was clear that these individuals were very passionate. They knew exactly what they needed to be doing and they practiced. So there's another question. When's the last time you actually sat down and you did a role play and you asked some questions to your team and they answered and you practiced and you role played? Because at the Cirque du Soleil, they're always practicing. They're experts. They're the best. They're, they do it perfectly. But how did they get to be perfect? And that was with practice. So are you bringing people in your organization and sitting them down and saying, hey, go to work, figure it out on your own? If so, 
you're only setting yourself up for failure. And I mean, granted, it's not going to be as far as death-defying, chances are, but I, I guess it could be pretty stressful when you're bankrupt. But what is the process? What is the training? And does everybody know where they need to be and what they need to do at that specific moment, just like when I watch the O? So kind of put that into your thought process and say, how are we going to go through every department and make it perfect? And then how are we going to continue to practice it? That's this week's tip, and I'll see you next week.